Steve here with Table Rock Tea Company. This is another sponsored video from our good friends at Kemimoto. They make high quality motorcycle gear, especially for the Honda Trail CT125. And today I will be reviewing their 35 liter dry bag. Packaging is pretty simple on this one. It comes in a plastic bag. Here is the spec. You can uh, hopefully see that. I will put the particulars in the description along with a link uh, to the product as well as a promo code uh, that Kemimoto is giving uh, for the first run of the video. So it comes in a bag and of course you have your instructions. Uh, there is one in English as well. Um, pretty simple. Um, it basically hooks to your bike with straps and we'll show you how that's done in just a second. But as far as the actual bag itself goes, um, you guys know I'm a big Kemimoto fan. I have a lot of their parts on my bike. Uh, they just make high quality stuff. So it really just comes down to whether or not it's something that you want. Um, but as far as their quality goes, no question. Um, you're going to get a high quality product. So uh, this whole bag is uh, pretty stout. It's completely waterproof. So if you guys are familiar with um, dry bags for, say, kayaking, same kind of thing. So we'll kind of start at the top and we'll work our way down and then I'll show you how it packs on the bike. So starting at the top, you essentially have a Velcro enclosure and the way these work is you are going to close it and then you roll it okay so it basically makes it waterproof and then it folds over and clips together okay so um, that's basically how it goes so um, your clip is going to hook onto the bike um, so that's what these extra little straps are for um, but hopefully you guys can see that and it makes it so it's a watertight seal. Of course, the entire inside is uh, coated. Um, I'm not sure what the material is, but all of the, uh, the seams are taped as well. So that's super important if you guys are into any kind of uh, high performance camping gear, that kind of thing. Uh, you'll know tape seams are nice. Um, so, as you go down the bag, there is a Velcro area that's also got sort of molly strap places as well. Um, they've got their Kemimoto logo here, which is just a Velcro patch you can put on or take off. Um, I would imagine that you could put things on here like, a, you know, like a um, geocaching patch or, or whatever, you know, um, just to customize it. If you guys are military, you can certainly put your your uh, colors on there as well. So um, yeah, so going around the pouch then at the top, there is a, another waterproof area right here. Hopefully you can see it. This is just a small uh, pouch area, but it's, it's actually pretty deep. I mean, I can fit my whole hand in here. So um, what I would say this would be great for are things like an iPad. Um, it can certainly uh, fit that in there. I don't think it'll fit a full laptop. And uh, part of the reason uh, for this bag is this is a bit of a commuter bag and we'll get into the sort of the purpose and, and uh, why you would want one of these um, you know, in, in daily use uh, versus not. Um, but it's, it's to, meant to be traveled and to be um, taken off your bike so you don't have to leave it on there. Uh, so if you're afraid of stuff getting stolen or if you're a uh, commuter going to work, um, maybe not so much perhaps in the US, um, but certainly most of the world, I've seen people basically use these as courier bikes and these, this is a perfect bag for that. So um, again, going down, you're gonna have these straps. These are what loop onto your bike and there are four of them and they hook into the clip enclosure. Again, I'll show you how that hooks onto the bike. And then there are compression straps as well around the side. There's also places where you can hook on other stuff um, so yeah, just a pretty versatile bag. But the big feature that uh, Kemimoto likes to uh, tout on this particular bag is that you can carry it. So there is a uh, carry handle here. If you wanna carry it like a briefcase, 
and there are also shoulder straps so you can adjust those and throw them on and uh, basically use it again as a commuter bag so that's essentially the purpose of this again it is a 35 liter no i don't have a bunch of camping gear and stuff like that i'm sure it'd be perfect for that i don't have a bunch of tents and things so i will pack it full of um uh like uh, foam not foam peanuts but those little bubble wrap kind of thing um, so you can see how big this thing is so if you've been watching my videos many of you guys know that i travel with this hard woe case and so I figured uh, the best way to kind of compare the two is just to do a side-by-side. -side. So this Woshider, which is a hard case, um, is a 45 liter, okay? So actually 10 liters bigger than the Kemamoto 35. But I'll be honest, I, I actually think it's that the, the Kemamoto seems like it could hold more. Um, I mean, just almost in every dimension, it's it seems to be as big or bigger um, than the 45 liter Woshider. So it uh, holds a lot of stuff. Like I said, this is actually uh, stuffed with bubble wrap. So you can kind of see, um, you know, the size of it in general. But I haven't even put anything in this outer pack yet. So we can still fit, like I said, a, a um, like an iPad or um, a notebook or even just a, a book if you're reading or whatever. So uh, quite a lot of cool stuff. I also forgot to mention that this does have a reflective uh, area here as well. So depending on how you have it on your bike, um, you can have it as a reflector also. So to show you how this seals up on the side after you have um, sealed the top, it basically hooks to the side compression strap and cinches in place like that so really nice and tidy again it's on both sides and then um, this is also a little bit uh, hard so you're not going to um, take this out like hiking so to speak um, but certainly like i said as a commuter you'll um you'll be happy to have it but this is so that it'll lie flat on the rack so let's get it on the bike see how it looks so again, a pretty simple installation. Most of this stuff is. You're basically going to take this strap. You will loop it around. Um, doesn't necessarily matter what orientation. Um, get that like that. And then it'll just clip on to one of the four right here and you can cinch it down. So that's uh, it, that's pretty simple. So um, when you're ready to take it off, you just unclip all four of these and you're good to go. But I'll show you that here in just a second. So here's what this looks like on the actual bike. And um, I think it actually looks pretty good. Uh, one of the things that I really like about my Woshider box is that it's one of the few boxes that comes with a uh, backrest. And I can tell you that if you go ahead and put something soft right here, this actually feels really nice. So you can actually use this 35 liter dry bag as a backrest if you uh, put, let's say, um, even just if you put a towel, you know, you get caught in the rain or whatever, or an extra change of clothing. If you put something padded on your lower back here or this bottom part, um, pretty good. So yeah, feels really comfortable. I think it looks good on the bike. One other nice feature about this bag, I won't fully demo it because I've got this gas can here, but you can actually mount this on the side of the bike as well. So if you just want to have a full seat or if you even want to have uh, your current box, like I've got the, that Woshider box, if you're willing to forgo the extra gas can, you can mount this right to the side like a pannier. So then if you want to take this off, let's say you're uh, again commuting to work or whatever, you just undo these clips and that's it. Now you've got basically a carry and go pack. So yeah, pretty nice. And again, these are adjustable as well. Not something that you're going to go hiking with per se, but I could definitely see um, using it uh, for again a commute. Maybe you live in a upstairs apartment and you got groceries or whatever you can actually haul it up there pretty good uh, i could also see doing say a very uh short um pack into maybe a campsite that you've already taken the trail but maybe you're 
actual tent location is a little bit away, but uh, really nice. So I'm impressed. I'm always impressed by their stuff. So let's talk about who would be appropriate for this kind of pack. Well, I think one, it gives you a lot of storage capacity. Uh, certainly for the buck. Uh, I can tell you those hard cases like I've got that are lockable and all that, um, you're pretty limited. Like, like what you can fit in there is what you can fit in there and it doesn't, you know, reconfigure. So this at least it's soft. You can stuff things around. So if that's more of what you got, um, I think that's perfect. I think it's definitely somebody that would be commuting to work that wants to take their bag in with them. I think, like I said before, um, also the the short, um, you know, cycle up to your campsite and pack it in just a little bit. But um, definitely a good bag. And I think one of the bonuses of having a soft one like that is if you really want to backrest, that, that padding does, does feel pretty nice. So again, good job, Kemimoto. They always have good stuff. Look for the link in the description as well as the promo code. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned to see what else is brewing here at Table Rock Tea Company.